finally, we get to actually see Sabrina, who is still in jail. Karen has let Aaron back in the house, child. And Deja is trying to warn Zach about Fatima. What's good, y'all? It's your sister Erica Vane. Comes to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another sister's video. And in this video, we are breaking down the trailer, well, the teaser, for episode number nine from season five. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss out on any of my sister's content and you stay in the know and up to date, child. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this teaser. So the teaser opens on Danny crying in Andy's office and Andy lets her know that girl, when you decided to get out of your damn, get in your damn car and run this man over, things change. It stopped being a little bit of self-defense and it started being a uh, attempted murder, honey, and or murder. I'm hoping that if, if this man is actually dead, then maybe it's like manslaughter, right? Like, Dandy can't get a a, a, a a murder charge. Like, something got to happen. Do we need to call Madam for this too? Because not that people be deserving to die, but also he hit her and spit on her. Like, what do y'all want from her? What do you want from her? Now, she she was definitely wild with chasing the man out the house, getting into her car, and then deciding to T-bone his ass in his car. That was a bit much, um, Andy. I mean, Danny. I would have preferred maybe you would have throw a match in the car and let the, let the join the fight but he would still die anyway erica you're not helping um y'all all i know is that danny cannot go to jail for murder she might wind up in jail though we might see danny um and sabrina in jail at the same time at least while this stuff gets worked out personally i don't believe that jonah is actually dead now i've been trying to think about the timing of everything so when danny is walking into the office it's pretty like early in the morning first thing in the morning because um Andy got there pretty early. She was already trying to really um, see Sabrina or hear from the judge to see Sabrina. We, you know, saw her last episode rushing Gary out and he was like, oh, this is a little bit earlier than normal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so I'm assuming that if we're saying that the whole, the thing with them was like late, late at night, early, early morning, then that would make for the time of like where she's been at this whole entire time. Cause I think that that's the big thing that's not accounted for. Girl, what have you been doing between the time that you T-boned his ass and that his head hit the daggone steering wheel and the sound was going off, the horn was going off and the time that you walked in to Andy's office in your work clothes? Like, what happened then? Because you had plenty of time to go back in the house, probably shower, put on your work clothes, not go to work, and then make your way, your way back to Andy's or down to Andy's office. And no neighbors called any, like, you weren't answering the phone. Like, it's a lot of things that are just kind of in the gray. And again, I mentioned this in my breakdown video, but in Tyler Perry land, y'all, people who are unalived don't stay unalived often. And um, it's never really that straightforward. So I really don't believe that Jonah is actually dead. Worst case right now, at least for me, what I'm thinking is this, it's going to wind up being an attempt dead murder charge. Um, I feel like she probably did leave him there. I don't know what she did with her car, girl. How did you even get here? Because your car is totaled at this point. We just got a bunch of questions. And in all honesty, we're probably not going to get any of the answers or at least start to get the answers until the mid-season finale, which will probably be around episode number 11, which is three episodes away. Go ahead and don't hold y'all's breath because it's going to be a minute before we actually get to to get the tea on Danny. Next week's episode, I think we're going to get a lot more centered around Sabrina. And for the most part, it looks like they've been swapping both of them out in reference to the amount of time that they get per episode. Now, moving on in the trailer, the next scene that we get to see is Deja talking to Zach outside the duplex. And he, she's telling him that he needs to watch his back because Fatima is cousins with Madam. And girl, that's going to be a problem for you because you have no home training, no decorum. And you've been trying to sleep with this man and you know that that's her man. Madam threatened you, not Zach. Like, what does he actually need to be worried for? As long as he's not planning to cheat on her, you know, like he was kind of on his way to doing when he was drunk the other night on Zatima. But we're going to let the past be the past, I suppose. As long as he ain't about to screw Fatima over and do no dirty stuff, he don't have nothing to worry about. You are the only one who needs to keep her head on a swivel and watch her damn back. 
And part of me is looking at this like, girl, do you really want Zach this bad? Or or is this like you trying to be an actual friend? I really have felt like for a while that there's somebody putting Deja up to pushing up on Zach in the way that she's doing. Because she's too thirsty, going too hard for it to just be like, oh, I just got to have Zachary Taylor. Like, girl, it ain't never been that damn deep. So I felt like somebody might have been behind it. Could have been Hayden. That's a stretch. Or it could have been his homeboy. Um, paying her to actually push up on Zach but now this conversation very much so feels like it's coming from her she was confronted by Madam and now she wants to let Zach know and let Zach know that he could potentially be in, in danger too girl take your ass back in the house and put some clothes on while you at it moving on Fatima sees Heather who looks really 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 pretty y'all about time they gave this girl a realistic wig gave her a little look a little something because she looks very very pretty in the scene but she's at the law firm and she's talking about she's waiting for her lawyer girl what lawyer are you pressing charges on Fatima for running your head into that mirror because it's a little late honey you a little bit behind the times with that what lawyer if she meeting with Hayden, it's probably about taxes, which I could see, like, because maybe she making a whole bunch of money because people making it rain on her. Okay, cool. But girl, at what point did you contract this lawyer now all of a sudden? Because we ain't never seen your ass before until you popped up with Zach Baby and that blue hair in your hair, that canicolon falling out your head. Now, all of a sudden, you you popping up every damn way and happen to be on the glow up and look kind of cute. Like, Tyler Perry, what are you trying to do with Heather Jennings? Because I'm not feeling it, sir. <sighs> messing around with this relationship Fatima going going to need to have a slow drip of wine because it's a lot every day is something that she got to deal with and it's a lot of it coming from Zach's past but again I'm gonna go ahead and move on and not digress um from there we get to go to Karen's house and Aaron is there she gets his passcode to his phone and she's talking about you can learn a lot from somebody by going through their phone girl Aaron don't got nothing to hide I said what I said, y'all. I know what we got in reference to the synopsis that I got listed on Eric Bain TV, the little preview that we got, and apparently some girl think that he's her man or whatever. But until proven otherwise, Aaron don't got nothing to hide. So, Karen, go ahead and go through the damn phone. Whatever's going to make you happy. What I am excited to see about this scene is that she's actually giving him a chance. She's actually opening up. She's actually going as far as wanting to go through his phone because that's what you do when you're starting to get invested with somebody and you want to try to protect yourself and guard your heart and yada 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 so girl go ahead go through the damn phone now before the trailer actually ends we get to see a sorrowful sabrina who they have cut out her damn braids y'all she's in there with a very cute fro so girl you don't got your braids but you still look damn cute um talking to somebody which don't look like andy because this hair and these glasses don't look like andy at all um and then we do get a cut to andy talking to some white attorney or maybe he's like prosecutor whatever talking about she's going to be in here for a while sir one she didn't do it and guess what we saw in this whole goddamn system when she get out of here because again she didn't do it now you with your little hand up on the wall leaning in close with andy because you see that she fine ain't gonna do a damn thing because no no and no but then also shut up when you're talking to me, because if you are not telling me the specifics that I need to know, you trying to intimidate me as her lawyer friend and telling me that she's going to be in here for a while is doing absolutely nothing. Sir, good day. And with that said, y'all, those are my thoughts on the teaser that we got for episode number nine. I will do a trailer breakdown if we get a trailer before next week's episode. Next week is also the 100th episode of Sisters, so shout out to them. Congratulations to them. That's an amazing feat in the television industry. And congratulations to everyone involved. They will be doing a special after the next week's episode to really talk about it, and we'll get to see Karen, who, or we'll get to see Ebony, who plays Karen, KJ, who plays Andy, Crystal, who plays Fatima, and I believe Mignon? No, Novi. Novi, who plays Sabrina. Those are the girls who are going to be there, and they're going to be chopping it up, I believe, with Heather B. Regarding 100 episodes, this amazing feat, and probably the future of Sisters as well. So be sure to check it out and check it out live. I'm your good sis, you love to talk TV with. If you made it all the way to the end of the video and you have not subscribed because it's your first time finding me, listening to my content, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any other content. I'm breaking down not only sisters, but other dope television shows across various streaming networks and television networks. And again, you don't want to miss out. And give this video a like because you made it all the way to the end. So I know you liked it. See you in the next one.